Hi everyone, welcome to Burr Oak State Park. I'm Julie Gee, the naturalist at Burr Oak. Today I'm going to feature the second winter hike on the trails at Burr Oak. We're going to be hiking the Ravine Trail and our destination is only four tenths of a mile. So the entire round trip hike is eight tenths of a mile. This is my favorite short hike at Burr Oak State Park. Before we get started, let's review a few safety considerations. First, it's always a good idea to have on sturdy hiking boots with ankle support. This is especially true at Burr Oak because the terrain here is hilly and steep and can be uneven at some points. Second, it's always a good idea to wear layers, especially in the winter time. Wear layers so that you can take off layers or put on layers as you get too warm or too cold. Thirdly, it's always nice to bring a backpack along so that you can store your layers, you can bring water along with you, and you can have a snack in case you get hungry or run out of energy or get cold and need that extra energy. Lastly, during these times of COVID-19, please bring a mask along with you. You want to be able to put the mask on if you come across other folks hiking along the trail. Not only will you want to wear your mask, but you'll also want to make sure that you stay six feet away from any other hiking parties. Let's go to the trailhead and we'll get started with the ravine trail hike. To get to the ravine trail, you'll want to enter the park as though you're going to the lodge. Follow the road to the lodge where you will then see a side road to the boat ramp. So this is the boat ramp closest to the lodge. You'll get out of your car and then you will see the ravine trail sign. Shortly into the hike, you'll cross a footbridge over a pretty little stream. After you cross the footbridge, the trail is going to start to climb up. Remember, having good sturdy hiking boots is a great idea. And if you like to use a hiking stick, you can bring that along also. The ravine trail does have some fairly steep sections and also you'll want to follow the yellow and blue blazes to stay on the ravine trail. As you hike along this forested trail, you can also enjoy views of Burr Oak Lake. We have reached our destination. Let's go down and take a closer look. This sandstone rock recess was carved by water over thousands of years. It's a magical area at Burr Oak State Park. You can find huge boulders of sandstone covered by moss, ferns, and lichens. If it gets cold enough and stays cold, the dripping water will freeze into icicles. Take a moment to take a deep breath, relax, and enjoy this area. You'll feel like you took a step back in time. Once you are done enjoying the sandstone rock recess area, you can continue hiking along the trail all the way to dock two, which would be a three mile round trip hike. I'm going to turn around and go back to the parking area to complete 
the 0.8 mile round trip. I hope that you'll come out and hike the ravine trail on your own. If you do, please show respect at the sandstone rock recess area. Please don't climb on the boulders because this tears off the moss and other plants that have taken so long to establish themselves. Thanks for joining me today, folks. Until next time, stay safe, be well, and get outside.